funny. <laughs> Wednesday the 17th of October we are all ready to go and uh, Madeline's headed off to school and we are just about to go out and meet our friend for Freddie to have a play with his friend Charlotte at Pixie's Play Dem which you must be thinking is one of our favourite places because you can go there a lot well yes it pretty much is because it's great there it's great for the kids it's all role play imagination stuff it's absolutely fantastic where has Freddie gone Freddie there you are what are you doing hiding behind there Found you. Where's Freddy gone? Say boo. <laughs> Freddy, where we're going? Pixies. Can I see you? Where? Pixies. Pixies. Shall we go? A bit sunny. A bit sunny. I'll put your sunglasses on. Oh, where have you gone? No. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's fine there. Let's go. You like it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what colour is that one? Is it green? Is that a green boat? No, it's a purple. Purple, purple. well done. Oh boy. Well done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you say? Gonna, you're going to make a spell with them. <laughs> oh, I'm going to spell with them. Wow, look at all of these things. Do you like that? And a big smile. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Ah! Everybody, this one that we found. Because this is great, this one. Can you press the hand? Press the hand. That's his belly. Press his hand, darling. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn him around a bit and see him. <laughs> Look at him good. There, that's out the sun. <laughs> He's good, isn't he? You like him? So this is some of the Halloween stuff that they've got in Aldi. And this looks really good. Pumpkin spice cream liqueur, so it's like like Bailey's good and that is I'm not sure how much that is I can't see the price these crisps look cool these are 99 pence each barbecue flavour potato snacks cheese ones and they're ghost and bat shaped looks good Freddie loves that don't you yeah you like that I've got loads of little bits and pieces Halloween kits, 
making paint little decorations, loads of different plates and stuff. Different things that you don't really see anywhere else, which is nice. If you need any bits and pieces, and they are like 99 pence each, which is great. Disgusting things. Chocolate eyeballs. And what else is there? There's some chocolate ghosts as well. See them? And some chocolate pumpkins. Ooh. Like them? Ew. Ooh. They look good, don't they? I think they'll probably be 99 as well. Wow. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. So we've ended up picking up some of the chocolate eyeballs and pumpkins and ghosts and they're actually only 49 pence each. So that's quite good. So we're going to go and have a look at some other things now. Well, lighting. I'm currently in the car, so if I can do any better, that, that's better. Right, so we've just um, arrived now at Tesco, so finished in Aldi. and um, Picked up a few things in Aldi. I would have got a few more things, but unfortunately, a lot of the Halloween display is actually situated beside the front doors. And this afternoon, I'm going to show them in two seconds, Freddie. Um, and as a result of that, the sun is actually beating down on all of the products that are there. Um, so they had this really nice pumpkin spiced um, like Irish cream, which would have been like a um, like a Bailey's. But all the bottles were boiling hot from being in the sun. And obviously that sort of thing is supposed to be kept in. You want to show everybody now? Oh, I kind of get you. Can you see him? I can't see well. Oh yeah, he's great, isn't he? Well, you see him properly when we get home. We've been laughing our heads off, haven't we? So yeah, so things like the that pumpkin spiced um, Irish cream, it's got to be kept in like. A, oh, sorry, the lighting's so bad. In um, a cool, dry place, and the bottles were all really hot. They had loads of chocolate sitting there as well, and all that's gonna get really hot. So I did actually report it just to one of the staff because it may be that it just hasn't been thought through when they were doing the displays as to where the products are going to go and then obviously what the sun was going to be like so i did tell somebody and i am going to um, contact head office and just let them know just to, so, so they can check the other stores really because what might happen is if people buy all these chocolate and sweets and stuff and they get home they're all ruined because they've been sitting in the hot sun for days and um, they're going to end up getting loads of stuff brought back and um, it's going to all get spoiled so i'm not going to tweet them i'm going to contact them privately because it's not i'm not complaining about it i just think they need to know but unfortunately we didn't pick up many sweets we did get some of the pumpkins chocolate pumpkins and the ghosts and what else? eyeballs and a couple of other things in which... but we're just about to head into tesco's now we're going in for a bit of a freebie shop actually and um, i got an email this morning from a crispy creme um saying that if i bought one of those i could get another one free i don't want to say what it is because i want, I want to hold it. you want to hold the letter freddie's going to hold the letter good boy so we're going to go in and get those and then madeline and freddie can have those I after stay. tea <laughs> what does it say? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We're gonna go and we're gonna go in and get something and take that to the till. Okay. Right. So, guys, we'll check back in with you shortly. Also, what I didn't realise was the time. We left Pixies at about one thirty, two o'clock. Yeah, it must be about two o'clock. I haven't even had any lunch, guys, and it's now four o'clock. Um, so there's really just no point. Um, in trying to get some lunch, so. I've said to Madeline, well, Freddie and Madeline can have pizza tonight. I'll um, have a little bit of a pizza party. I've got a vegan pizza there, so I'm going to have that. Um, so I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. See you. No regret buying that. Right, so we just got back in the car from Tesco's. That was quite a smooth um, transaction, really. We've got our two crispy cremes there. Um, so we'll be doing a taste test with those after we've had some tea. Um, she was charged one eighty. Um, for a ring donut, um, and we've obviously got one free, so one pound eighty for two donuts. I know you can obviously get like say four or five pound bit cheaper things like that, um, but we've just got them because we're going to try them. We might as well, you know, because it is nearly Halloween. Nearly <laughs> Halloween. Can you do a scary laugh? Can you do a scary laugh? Go more. Ah, 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 ah. You can't? Scary. I bet you could be scary. Come on, let's go home. See Madeline, yeah? Yeah. See, let's go. Let's go. Guys, and we are now back home. Um, just going to make some tea. We're just having pizza and chips today. Just something nice and simple. Um, but I'm actually having this 
which is the Goodfellas vegan pizza. It's falafel. Falafel? How have you said? And um, we're gonna have that one for tea. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, with um some oven chips, and then Freddie and Madeline, they're gonna be having margarita pizza with some oven chips. So just nice and easy after we've been out and about having a busy day. So we have finished making tea yeah. now and just putting it out for Madeline and Freddie. So having a little bit of a pizza party tonight, aren't we? Pizza party. Pizza party. What's Freddie got? Chips. Chips and some. Pizza. Pizza, yeah, because we cooled some off for you. Ready, didn't we? And then same for you, Madeline. Yeah. Dig in, help yourself. Did you have a good day? I did, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm going to get some tomato sauce. Oh, I love a bit of tomato Would ketchup. Like any, any um, no, thank you. No sauces for me. I'm just going to head back inside and sort my pizza out. Because I've got a vegan one, which obviously I'm going to um, cut up. And then if anybody wants to try it too, they can try it as well. Obviously, I will actually encourage that. I'm just going to quickly show you the vegan pizza now before I cut it up because if I don't do a very good job of it, it might not look too nice. So here it is. Mm. It's got peppers, onion, spinach, garlic, spices, falafel. Oh, it's just vegan. It's lovely. It looks great. And here we have it. I've just cut it up there. As you can see, it doesn't look quite as attractive once I've cut it up. I've done some smaller slices on this side, just in case the guys want to try some of it. So Madeline is going to do a taste test with the vegan, the Goodfellas falafel vegan pizza. So here we go. It smells good. Mm -hmm. You like it? See, I think it's just a nice, like, different pizza that you can have. Got a little bit of a spice to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. What else can you taste in it? Um, spice. Spice, garlic. Um, yeah, and a bit of a bit of um, pesto, maybe. A bit of pesto, yeah. the spinach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this green nice. stuff. There. So what do you reckon? So people who don't normally eat vegan to think they would like this. Mm, definitely interesting. I do. Pizza. I do. It tastes like it's something different. To be honest, guys, because there's only so many pizzas you can get, isn't there? I mean, they do bring new ones out, but. This is just something else. It's just nice. It just tastes like a normal pizza, yeah. though. If mm -hmm. I was given this, I would just be like, pizza. Yeah, just eat it, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good taste test. Oh, just put me thumb over. Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, good evening. So I've put Freddie to bed and Madeline has decided that she's going to go and watch some TV in our room. So that's what she's doing. So I'm just having a little tidy round and um, I've got this guy to keep me company. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Oh, honestly, this this thing is providing hours of amusement for me right now because when I when I saw him in the shop in Aldi, um, I thought it was really cool because he like sort of bobbed around a bit and that was great, right? And um, he, he was actually eight ninety nine, which I thought was quite a lot really for that. But anyway, Freddie loved him, and I thought well he'll be a nice addition to a Halloween Halloween decorations. <coughs> um, uh, so I thought yeah, let's get him. So it wasn't until we put him on the tail, um, on the conveyor belt, that we found out that he actually did this. <laughs> Are you not ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> So anyway, Freddie pressed the button when he was on the conveyor belt and then my phone never could do that while I was just ill laughing. <laughs> I could not even put the stuff in the trolley. I was laughing that much. Anyway, so after he did that, I was like, yeah, it's definitely worth £9. I think I've had £9 worth of laughing out of it tonight. So that was a bog. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I think I'm finding that far funnier than it was supposed to be. 
So, on with this evening's vlog. Um, I'm just going to put you down on the table and hope that um, you can still see me. So, sorry if it's a bit wobbly, but just a second. Right, I'll just put you down there. Oh, where have I gone? Right, okay, so. Um, <coughs> yes, I've got my lovely leopard print dressing going on. Feeling rather animal tonight. So, I ordered something from Wish. It was basically, um, I don't even know how I ended up clicking on it. But anyway, I got this product from wish uh, i've just totally got a fright there because like the little bags just fell off the arm of the chair and made a funny noise and really freaked me out right so it was basically all i paid for for it was postage and it's these little like bendy rods that you put in your hair and curl your hair so it actually only cost me 40 pence and in fairness i think i ordered it just over a week ago and they've arrived they remind me of those um sweets that you get they've got like strawberry and then like the white um sort of soft stuff on the inside that's what they look like um, so yeah, I think what they are is, <coughs> yeah, they're like bendy, so like you do a curl in your hair, so I'm not going to do it tonight, because I think it's probably going to take a little bit too long, and I don't want to be holding these up too much, um, but I think at the weekend, um, I'll do a little vlog of us trying these out in my hair, and I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't matter, because it was only 40 pence. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not too bad. My hair's quite thin, obviously. As you know, loops seems to be falling out at the minute. But um I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give them a go. So we'll see how those go. I'll do that at the weekend. Um more during the day, that would be better. And Daddy Flamingo will be here so he could obviously keep an eye on Freddie and I won't have any little fingers trying to get in the way when I'm trying that. And they're quite looking forward to trying them. And if they don't work, it doesn't really matter, because it was 40 pence. Um, so that was on wish. There's loads of stuff that you can get, like, loads of Christmas cushions and everything. It was just going to be, like, paying the postage, um, and, like, a pound for the cushions. It worked, like, six pounds for two cushions and stuff. Um, I'm not sponsored by the website or anything like that. Um, but I just thought it was quite cool, really. Um, so I probably will have a look for some other things and see if I, if I find anything. Obviously, get it ordered quite quick in case it takes a while. <coughs> Oh my god, I am so sick of coughing. Like seriously, I I need to stop coughing. I'm annoying myself, so I'm so sorry everybody. Um I'm surprised it's even still watching. Um like it's just really, really annoying. It's, like during the day I seem to be okay and then hit night time this cough. Comment below, has anybody else had this stupid cold that just ends up with this weird cough? So I've got my candle on in the background. Can you see it? Do, 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 do. There it is. My home bargains. No, B and M bargains. That was two ninety nine. So this ends today's vlog, Wednesday's vlog, um, and I've just remembered that um, the apprentice is on tonight, so I'm going to catch up on that in a bit when I've got my jobs done. Um, so that's about it. I'm afraid. Um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, actually, I've just forgotten something that I was going to tell you about, which I was going to show you again. Back in a second. I'm back! Right, I've been in the kitchen since I spoke to you. I've made a cup of tea and I have got these. Ooh, I'll just do the ta-da! Can we see them? Can we? Don't want to tip them too much, do not want them to end on the floor. Right, basically, um, I received an email from Krispy Kreme, which I'm sure hundreds of people got the same email. Thousands of people saying that. If I bought one donut from the Halloween range, then I could have another one for free. And I think I did mention earlier that it was one eighty for one ring donut, and then I got another one free. <coughs> so I was trying to tip that up more so you can see. Well, the pink one is Vimpdo flavour. It's supposed to be like I don't know why it's classed as a Halloween one, but it is. And the other one is sort of like Frankenstein, and I think that's got apple on it, like an apple frosting on it. So, I was going to do a little taste test with Madeline, but I should have decided that she wanted to go upstairs. Unfortunately, she's missed out, and I'm sure these won't be at the best buy this time tomorrow night. So, I thought, you know, whenever we buy Krispy Kremes, I always eat them that day, like as soon as I get them. Um, I'm really not going to take, <laughs> take the chance of them going like really hard and then them being wasted because I'll be really, really upset. So, what I thought I would do was have a half of each. And see what they like and then because i'm a really cool fun mom after they've had breakfast in the morning i'll let them taste them as well 
can't say fair on that kind of because Freddie just said that he was really full after tea so I don't know we'll go right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly um somehow cut this in half so I'm just working out because the pink one the is filled with um Vimto flavour pink stuff so I'm gonna cut it to make sure that I get some and that there's some left for Madeline as well so I'll go that way right okay okay all right okay so I've just got half there sorry you can't really see it right so just pulled up half that and I'm gonna do the same with the other one I better just clean this knife a second mmm oh my god mmm oh my god right but what I'll do with this one is I'll leave the bit with the eyes on um because that'll be <coughs> oh no it won't because then they won't get much of the chocolate bit off the top right that'll leave one eye on right okay pretty much broke the other eye anyway right okay so got another half there right let's start with this one so this has got some sort of apple coating the ring donut oh my god mmm wow that's lovely <laughs> mm. right so that's got like an apple fruit I'm going to be totally honest it's lovely it's really really nice but I'm not getting much of the apple through I'm just going to taste some of the icing without any mm -hmm. if you eat the green without the donut you can taste the apple so much more Obviously, that you've got the normal glaze on the donut as well. <coughs> but then I've had a cold, so maybe my, my taste buds are a bit off. Right, that's good. That's that one. Right, two seconds. This is fun taste testing. Maybe I should do it like this all the time. This is great. Right, so this one, next one that we're going to try is the Vimto one. But look inside. I'm trying not to get covered in stickies. It's like Vimto flavouring inside as well. Right, okay. That's really nice. That on the outside is if they somehow managed to make a Vimto sticky and then plastered it across the top. Totally tastes like Vimto. That is so good. The inside tastes like Vimto bubblegum. That's really nice. That's really good. I'm covered. Well played, Krispy Kreme. Well played. I'm going to give those a Flamingo Family five star out of five. Wow. That was amazing. Cheers, everybody. You see me mug. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I haven't got any Halloween mugs. And I did watch Home Alone last night because it was on E4. Obviously, I watched Home Alone. Um, and then I saw the mug in the cover. I was like, yes, that's going to go. So cheers, guys. I'm going to end today's vlog here and enjoy the rest of them. Leave the other two half for them for the morning. So good night, guys. Sweet dreams. And I'll see you all back here again very soon. Cheers. Good night.